What are the best tools to use in Adobe Photoshop? In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite tools in Adobe Photoshop. This is a great video for beginners of Photoshop, so you don't have to learn everything from Photoshop. It takes a lot of time to learn everything that Photoshop has to offer, but if you master these tools, you are way ahead of everyone that's just starting out with Photoshop. So these tools are great to edit photos or create digital art. So I'm going to show you my favorite tools in Photoshop that I use all the time when I create digital art or edit photos. And try to watch the video until the end so you understand every tool, how it works and how you can use it to edit your own photos. Do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can keep on making these videos. In case you didn't know, I have also Photoshop courses where I go really in depth on everything. There is a link in the description of the video and there is also a discount. All right, the first tool that I use most is the pen tool. You can find the pen tool here or you can press P on your keyboard. Now this tool is used by digital artists a lot because we use this to remove backgrounds. Now here you can see we have path selected. Shape I don't really use. I always use path to remove backgrounds from images. I would start with cutting it out with the pen tool just like this. Now when you go around the edge, you can press right mouse, make selection. And here keep the radius at one, so you have a bit of a soft edge and press enter. And then when you make a mask, it's gonna cut this out. Make this a bit finer. You can press right mouse on the mask and select the mask. And here, when you select this one, you can make the edges better. The next tool that I really like is the Puppet Warp tool. So let's say for instance, you have this image here. I remove the background from this. And then when we go to edit, select puppet warp we can change this image so here you can set points so if i set the point here and there i want to keep those in place and then i can just easily make a different shape out of this this works really well on digital art kind of stuff and when you're done with your shape press enter and you have a different kind of shape the next tool that i use a lot and that is the dutch and burn tool the dutch and burn tool you can find here the Dutch tool we use to make areas lighter and the burn tool to make areas darker. When you select this tool, you can make areas lighter, you can see, but you don't want to work on this layer. You want to have it on a separate layer. So in this case, it's better to create a new layer and go to edit, fill and fill that with 50% gray. And when you change the blend mode to overlay, the layer is not visible anymore. But if you use the Dutch and burn tool, it will be visible. So let's say I'm going to use the Dutch tool to make the eyes lighter here. Here we have the settings of the Dutch tool, which you can change. And let's make that eye lighter and maybe some of the fur like that. And now you can see how easy I can make areas lighter just by using the Dutch tool. Now for the burn tool, it's the same, but you make areas darker. I would use different layer for that if you use it, but let me show you how it works. You can see I can easily make areas darker. And again, here we have the settings of the tool, which you can change. You can change the range from shadows, middles, highlights, and the exposure. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to change this. Now you can see we created some lighter areas and some darker areas to make this photo better. The next tool is also one of my favorites. I use this a lot when I create like photo edits from wildlife animals. So when you go down here and select curves, with the curves we can change the lighting. Here we have the highlights, here we have the darker tones and here we have the mid tones. So what I usually do is I will drop the highlights and then when I take a normal brush, I can brush areas lighter again. So let's take a normal brush here. Here you can change the size and I will brush areas lighter again. And this way I can create a really kind of different light effect on the photo. So for instance, if you have just a normal photo, you can create some cool shadows on your photo. The next tool that I really like is the hue and saturation. So this is actually an adjustment layer. If you go down here, you can select hue and saturation. And with this, we can change the colors a bit. So in this photo, you can see the green is really popping in your eyes. What I would do is I would just take the saturation and drop this slightly down to make this image kind of like this. Now the next tool that I also really like is the adjustment layer color balance for instance if you want to change the colors of your photo a bit just add a color balance and move these sliders around so let's say for instance i want to get some more blue tones in this maybe some cyan and let's add some green and you can see how quickly we change the colors now the last tool that i really like is the brush tool if you master this 
you can create really cool effects so for instance if i want to create snow effect i'll just take the snow brush select the white color and just click there and that's it and the only thing you have to do is just brush it away on the parts that don't need those snow effects so that's it those are my favorite tools to use in photoshop make sure to check out my other videos if you want to learn more and if you want to get really serious about photoshop make sure to check out my courses there's a discount in the description of the video like this video if you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe and catch you on the next one